Hero of Reporting. Hello comrades. Guess who's back, Volatile Dead, cast while channeling is alive. So, how does this build work now? But, before we started. Comrades, did you know something about, Raid Shatter Legend? Who am I kidding, everyone knows about this game. It's a free, cross-platform RPG. I personally like this game for the huge variety of champions, and the synergies between them. There are over 600 characters in this game and there are literally over a million combinations. With so many champions, the game becomes very complicated and interesting. So, the link will be in the description, or scan my QR code. There are a huge number of PvE modes in the game, such as the company, dungeons, factional wars. The bosses in this game are very diverse, and the battles with them are really interesting. For example, Slovenia, Guardian of the Spirit Keep. She heals up to half her health every time she gets a turn, and she also deals bonus damage based on how much HP she has left. So to fight with her, we need characters with healing reduction debuffs. The game also has a PvP mode, which you obviously will not get bored. Let's try to fight him. Well, not even close. Okay, let's find an opponent with team power equal to ours. Too easy. The game is constantly being updated, such as the recent new event, Guardian Ring which includes an entire faction guardian system, and, a new way to get legendary champions. And there are a few more major updates on the horizon. And if you are a new player, you can use my link in the description, or scan my QR code, which gives you an epic hero, Kanaru, 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and, 1 ancient shard. The rewards will be available only for the next 30 days and only for new players. So, thanks Raid for the sponsorship, now let's get back to the the business. So, how does this build work now? We still use Skull's Bridle as usual, it helps us deal damage to ourselves to activate cast 1 damage taken. But, now we don't need to use Voidbringer, since cast 1 damage taken now also costs mana, the damage with Voidbringer will be too high. Also, we now use the Corpse Walker to spawn corpses, and trigger the cast 1 damage taken loop. But how are we going to sustain our mana? With this Watcher's Eye mod, plus the new mastery, we won't have any problems with mana, since the damage that we do to ourselves, will turn into mana. Also, as you may have noticed, that this is a low life build, since the mana reservation now does not affect life, it's important to have Anomalous Arrogance support, which helps us to reserve 49% of life instead of 51%, which is very important, since it allows to get a non-stop life leech effect. Our weapon, Volcanus, along with the rare shield. You can use Martyr of Innocence, but the shield, together with Volcanus, can give much more. Armor with resistance, life, 
and most importantly, with maximum life as an extra maximum energy shield craft. Scold's Bridal, with plus one additional volatile dead corpse. Rare Loves, with unnerved, or culling mod, or both. Stygian Vice, with HP, resistance, life regeneration, and strength. Rings, with HP, resistance, assassin mark, and life gain for each enemy hit by your spells mod. Amulet, with plus one fire skill gems mod. Watcher's Eye. Glorious Vanity, with Doriani mod. And, Replica Fragile Bloom, free 3% life regeneration. Our main skill, Cyclone with Cast While Channeling, Volatile Dead, and Awakened Spell Cascade. Desecrate, with Spell Cascade, and Cast When Damage Taken. Second Cast When Damage Taken, with Unerath, Greater Multiple Projectile, and Greater Volley. And the third cast when damage taken, with flammability, divergent purifying flame, and reap, just for bonus damage. Vitality, zealotry, herald of ash, clarity, and petrified blood, is our main auras. Also, aspect of the cat, with anomalous arrogance support. Pantheon. Ascendancy. Kill all bandits. Tree. Annihilating.